and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going in with an exciting launch. So Beauty Bay have just launched their third palette. It kind of looks like this, this type of thing. So one of my favourite palettes as you guys know is the Book of Magic by Beauty Bay. This is beautiful. Okay and that's what they released honestly beautiful okay anyway so they have just launched their third like installment of these size palettes and i am so excited to share this palette with you i literally it literally launched yesterday morning i was on that website as soon as it launched and it was in my basket next day delivery and everything five pound delivery i'm not a massive delivery type of gal but i i have to have this video out for you so it is currently 21 minutes past 12. so yeah today as you can tell by the thumbnail we are going to be going in with the beauty bay new romantic palette i'm so excited so this did retail for 15 pounds on the website absolutely stunning okay absolutely beautiful as soon as i saw it i was just like i need this in my life but yeah it comes in this little sleeve okay the pa packaging just normal box just comes in like this rose packaging typical for like valentine's like type of packaging and didn't really like think anything of it 20 color palette it's time to get intimate by the beauty bay with the beauty bay new romantic palette inside you'll find 20 shades in all warm berry and blossom tones you could possibly need each silky soft shadow buffs and blends seamlessly into the lid while your iconic matte and shimmer formulas have intense color payoff that last all day you're about to fall in love with our latest obsession i'm obsessed with their palettes okay i didn't like the sunset horizon one that's the one that i didn't like just because i think the one that i had was a dud and literally all the eyeshadow was just falling out of the pan so i messaged beauty bay and they just didn't get back to me so i was just like you know what, i'll sell it so i sold it and someone else now has it they're perfectly fine that's fine but yeah it comes in this little beauty bit this like bubble wrap my boyfriend likes sitting here popping these so that's probably what happened to this but yeah this is what the palette looks like and then this is what it looks like on the inside so that is what it looks like it is beautiful it is stunning it's all the shades that you you kind of need for like a romantic look i am a little bit upset there isn't like red red tones because in the photos in beauty bay this shade here which is definitely a like berry tone looked bright red and i was like oh my god a bright red palette like i haven't i don't own a bright red palette like, this is still unique in my collection that's fine but i thought this was more red tone and this is more berry tone definitely so yeah i think we're gonna go in with some swatches first and then we'll definitely go and play around with this okay so we're gonna start across with the first shade and then i'll go across five i'm gonna go across the first like row and then go that way so yeah you get to know anyway if you've come this far subscribe why not join the family i really want to hit 500 subscribers so why not join me over here creating fun content okay guys so we're gonna go in with the first row which is this row here which is more full of like an inner corner shade and four mattes so like transition shades so yeah let's go in with the first one which is vanilla that feels like butter this is vanilla then we've got birthday which is more of a baby pink you can't really see these shades because they are more of a transition shade then we've finally got an inner corner highlight and this feels so good look at my finger hello okay so next you guys can't see this because the light is literally washing them out but look at that shimmer you could you can see that for days next is flamingo which is more of a baby pink but it's not more of like baby baby but this one's a little bit more vibrant which is more of that type pink next is lingerie which is a like transition brown shade i'm not the best swatcher of life okay so yeah that is the close-up of the shades swatched up for you so those are the shades you can kind of see it's true form now my camera is darkening there we go those are the shades for you. They are beautiful, stunning shades. I'm not the best swatcher, okay? I do have to say so myself. Don't judge me. I am trying, okay? Next is the second row, which literally just looks like this one. Anyway, the first stage is Milkshake, which is more of a corally pink, I do have to say. Yeah, that has pigment. That is pigmented. Next is the shade Chint. I don't know how that is said, so I'm gonna move on. It's more of like a purpley shimmer shade. 
it's like a reflective purple like dark purple to light lilac kind of shimmer shade next is charlotte which is that burgundy shade i was talking about in the beginning instant pigment okay that shade is going on my eyeballs today i'm telling you next is queen which is a kind of shimmer shade of that but a little bit lighter Beauty Bay just know how to do eyeshadows, I'm sorry, but okay, now it's more of a muted transition kind of burgundy shade, which is smoothie. This one might need a top up. Do you know what? That was actually really good, these swatch. So this is the swatches for you. But those are the swatches. If you can see, they really do look absolutely beautiful. They're so reflective. Next row is the third row down, which actually is this row here. This row is a little bit more of the brownie orangey type like row with like a pop of purple. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the first shade Penny, which is kind of like a copper shimmer. Look at that. Do not tell me Beauty Bay can't do eyeshadows. The reflectiveness of this. Next is the shade Embers, which is more of a brownie kind of orange. That is a beautiful brownie orange. That's a good like transition kind of shade. These shades are dark enough for like deeper skin tones as well, which is good. Next is the shade Raspberry, which is like a true red shimmer. Like it's like a red corally kind of actually. And we're just gonna pop that on my arm. I I'm not shook, okay? Beauty Bay just knows how to do eyeshadows. Next is Mars, which is a deep brown. That literally just swatched beautifully. And the last one is Royal, which is that purple shimmer. Even the shimmers kind of feel buttery, which is so good. That is stunning. So that is the third row. But look how reflective they are. Okay, now onto the last row, and then we can finally get around and placing this stuff on my eyelids because we're about to look hot smoky and we are gonna look beautiful okay the next one is definitely the last row which is this row here so i'm just gonna start off here and then go across like i have in the other ones so muffin is literally just like a deeper transition shade brown there's quite a few browns in here to be honest for like a i get it you can do quite a like bit of neutrals but i was a little bit like oh, okay We're going in with muffin that swatched amazing then khaki which is that pop of random green and it is a khaki green shimmer i am not mad at that shade look at that shade let's see how that swatches oh my god i'm shook i'm shook okay that was beautiful i think that's my favorite shade in the palette sandal saddle is more of like a greeny kind of brownie deep shade but there's pigment there is pigment straight up there next is valentine which is like a burgundy shimmer like a true burgundy that is very beautiful it is reflective but it's not as reflective as that green that green just hits different and then finally is the shade ink which is just a matte black they always in like interpret about black and i'm happy about that because i love deepening up my crease with a black and they weren't joking with about the blacks either so those are these shades these are so beautiful oh that green shade is not picking up how stunning that is in real life it never comes off okay so my favorite part so now we have done swatching all the palette honestly the swatches were beautiful there isn't one shade that didn't swatch nicely which i am very happy about so yeah let's get there diving into this palette 15 pounds the shade quality already for me just swatching like swatches aren't anything usually but i love to show you guys swatches i want to like invert it more into my videos just so you guys can see what it works on the arm and the eyes and you guys know if you're gonna pick this up i'm so excited i think we're gonna do like a winged out like red burgundy moment okay let me go in and prime my eyelids again so we're gonna go in with the excess revolution concealer this you guys know you know the tea, okay? First eye primer. Also, another thing about the palette, it does come with a mirror, which is a plus. There's a lot of high-end palettes that don't even come with a mirror. Like, come on, guys. Beauty Bay's out here giving us mirrors for £15 with a banging, beautiful shades. And you're charging £60 for what? So, let's zoom you in. We're going to do one eye on camera and one eye off. I think the first shade that I'm definitely going to go into, which is this shade here. I think everyone just loves this shade. And that is Claret. It's just this middle one here and it is beautiful. I'm going to go in with the Jessup 234 Luxe Smoky Shader. It's just a flat, like, fluffy brush. Zoom you in to an uncomfortable amount of zooming in. But we need to show you what the T is. So, yeah, let's go into this shade here 
which is this. It is a little bit kick up -y. okay, it is. But there is pigment. I really like the matte pink packaging. But yeah, let's pack this on the outer, kind of like upper V, not like concentrated on my V. But we're gonna pack it on here. Hopefully there isn't so much fallout with these shades and they don't ruin my base. Packing on this shade straight away, I can see the pigmentation. We're gonna be doing a cut crease today. Why not? It's already one o'clock in the morning. The pigment. Now, just kind of bringing it into my inner portion kind of area. I am going to blend this out, don't you worry. So we're just kind of tapping over the edges as I go. Do not want any harsh lines, because as soon as I get harsh lines, they're the worst to blend out. Okay, so now that shade is on, honestly, the pigmentation of that shade is amazing. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Jessup 223 Petty Eye Blender. It's just a small eye brush blender. Just looks like this. This is my favorite for blending out eyeshadows. And I think we're gonna go in with, I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Smoothie, which is just this shade here. Just packing it on my brush. Tiny bit kick up not a lot we're just gonna put on that onto the edge where i've already kind of like stamped it buffed it out kind of but not really and we're just gonna place this on this just buffs out my eyeshadows really nicely let's bring this out because we are bringing this eye look out today i'm gonna try and use as many shades as possible so yeah this might seem very blown out right now but I promise you it will have a little bit more depth and stuff when I add like blacks and stuff like that. Okay, so now that shade is lovely placed on, just kind of buffed out a little bit. We're gonna go in with an even lighter shade and buff out those edges. So I'm gonna go in with this brush. So I'm gonna go in with this brush, which is literally just an old brush that I've had for ages and I don't know where it's from. It just kind of looks like this. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Flamingo, which is this little baby pink, but just literally dusting that over the edges to get that a bit more of a seamless blend and over here just to kind of brighten it up a little bit i want this to be very like valentine's -y kind of literally just using this shade to blend it into my skin it's really pretty so now we have our basic kind of blend down so with the purples pinks and stuff we're gonna go in again intensify those colors add some black like deepen out the crease kind of area before i cut my crease and that cut crease is sharp as hell so yeah let's do that the black i'm gonna go in with one of these morphe brushes it's just from the gold collection it's just a sh short little packer brush we're gonna go into shade ink that was full light central we're just gonna pop it on the out a corner bear in mind this is on already eyeshadowed lids so this isn't like wet i'm really going in as if i don't care i have my base on right now and i'm just kind of pooping myself now i realized so as i'm putting it on i'm slightly buffing it out as i don't want it being like a massive statement of the eye look so just right into that inner corner, just where my crease sits. I want it there, I don't want it any much higher because otherwise we will look like we've got a black eye. So yeah, that's what we've got the black on now. So yeah, we're gonna go back into that claret shade, which is like the deeper kind of purplish shade. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit back with that br brush that I used before with it. I'm just kind of like wiggling the two shades together. Gives me a really good blend. So just kind of packing on that shade there where it already is existing and just wiggling the brush between the shades. Okay, next back into the other shade that I used, which was Smoothie and back with that brush that I used. So back with the Jessup 223, just to kind of blend what I've just done out. Just to kind of repeat in the tip, like bits we've already kind of done, just to kind of make what we've done even neater and nicer and blended. Like this obviously isn't like everyone's Valentine's look. On Valentine's Day, I won't be wearing a look like this, but today I will. Those shades have literally just blended together like a dream. I, pfft, blending that black out just took me four minutes. Four minutes. Usually I'm sat here for literally hours. Especially with black. Black's a, black's a tricky shade. So finally back into that very pale shade and the very fluffy brush. Flamingo. And just kind of like re-dust over the edges a little bit. Just to bring that back a bit. That is the look we have so far. I'm going to quickly go off camera. Cut my crease and then I will be back because it takes way too long and we'll add a shimmer, do my lower lash line, then add some lashes. So yeah, 
see you guys in a minute. Okay, I am now back with my cut crease all done. I did do my cut crease with the P. Louise Bank Canvas. Um, it's actually really good for my cut creases. I don't use it all over my lid because it's a little bit drying, but it's good for my cut creases as it does like semi set down. But as I was sat here, I was thinking, we've got purples and pinks here. Why don't we interpret that green on the lid? Because that green and then this kind of like yellowy gold on the inner corner like smudged into it and like brought onto that under like lash line so i'm gonna go in with this morphe brush from the saweetie uh collection it's just a tiny little packer brush i don't even know what time it is in the morning anymore i don't even know i'm about to do an all night editing doing everything it's 108 in the morning okay so i'm gonna go in with this shade khaki let's put it on the brush do you know what? it picks up pretty well on the brush we're just gonna put it here packing that on oh yeah i think that was the right decision There is the tiniest little bit of fallout on my cheeks, but nothing much really. It's still washing out the green that's on my lid right now. It's just such a beautiful shade, but you see, it's just not showing up on the camera and I really don't know why. I don't know if you, let me dim the light completely. So that is kind of what it's looking like. It's not, you're not seeing it as green as it is on my eye. Such a beautiful shade. Okay, so now I've put that shade on there. I've literally just dusted off this brush on my towel. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Oyster, which is more of that like pearly inner corner kind of shade. It's kind of like a gold and it'll go really nicely with this green, just kind of in the inner portion and kind of blended into it and right on the inner corner. Yes, that's what I wanted. <laughs> This shade I do have fallout on my face. Very stunning. That is beautiful. So now I'm going to blend that black into the green and kind of make a slight light liner and then put a black liner on top. Just then it looks really pretty. And then, yeah, it should be a pretty good look. And then we'll do the under eye and then we'll be done. So we're going to go back in with that short stumpy brush back into the black, literally tiniest bit. And just tap over the edge of the concealer and where the glitter is. These shades, by the way, are performing amazing. Um, I am pleasantly shook by them. Like, no harsh lines. They're just kind of bringing it in, kind of. Just kind of tapping it over, just so it like deepens the green a little bit on the outer corner. So this is the eye look so far. I've just blended that black into the lid shade. Now you can kind of see the green a little bit more, which is so good. But this is kind of what it's looking like so far. I think it looks so pretty. Um, I'm just going to quickly add a quickly thin black liner and then we're going to do my bottom lash line. I've got black on my elbow. So that is the black liner on. I think it looks pretty. It adds just a little detail to the eye. My eye looks so good right now. I'm so proud of myself. I had to say to myself. The eyeliner I went in with see was with the NYX Epic Ink Black Liner just because that's my favourite one at the moment and it's really good. So yeah, let's do the bottom lash line. I'll do the other eye and then I'll be back with my final review. Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I want to kind of keep it like deep and smoky. I think it just looks beautiful. And for that, I do have a set underneath eye so we can see how well the shadows do on a set base as well as they did on the wet base. So I'm going to go in with that tiny little buffer brush again, which is the Jessup 223. And I'm going to go in with the claret shade which is just that deep red kind of burgundy shade and just pop it underneath my eye i have like extremely hooded eyes like when i take my photos i raise my brows and that's where i get my forehead lines it's like i either have super hooded eyes that my eyes are like this or i have forehead line from where i raise my eyebrows which one would you prefer tell me down below i'm just kind of buffing that shade in and the pigment is still sticking to a set base so if you do like a set base with your makeup it it works next i'm going to go in with an even lighter shade back on that fluffy brush where i used the lighter shade for and then we're just going to use a bit of smooth and a bit of flamingo just mix them both this might be a little bit big for my under eye but i literally just want to add a dust of it and this will allow that next we're just going to finally deepen out that bottom lash line with the tiniest bit of black on that brush like the tiniest bit i don't want it too dark 
I do this bit last just because then it allows it to blend in a little bit easier as there's so much powder underneath it anyway. Now that's on, I'm gonna go back in with that tiny little detail brush. The little 223 is it? Buff over that black. Oh my God, this looks so pretty. I do have a bit of fallout on my cheek, literally the tiniest bit, but that's mostly from the shimmers. The mattes had one bit of black fallout on my cheek, which is barely anything to what I've had before. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. That looks beautiful. I'm so happy with how that turned out. I'm gonna quickly go off camera, stick some lashes, mascara, stick this eye on, and then I'll be back with my final review. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, I am now back with both eyes done and my lashes on. Honestly, I kind of love how this has turned out. The look that we have created today, I think just adding that green on the lid really did do something and it just kind of made it a little bit different because I know everyone's just going to be like, oh, just play with the pinks and stuff. And I'm like, hun, there is a beautiful green in that palette that literally needs to be played with and it is stunning. All the other shades blended together effortlessly. £15 for this palette is genuinely amazing i paid 30 pound for this that's how like good it is the shades literally blended together like butter i really do love how it has ended up looking so yeah let's do a little zoom in of what my eyes look like now and then we will end this video here so this is what me eye look looks like now so we did the black into that purpley blend proper winged out brought it underneath the eyes to make it a little bit smoky a little bit like glam we then done a half cut crease with a green into like a whitish gold shimmer which is now in my inner corner and i really do love how this has turned out honestly i think it looks beautiful so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video please do make sure that you like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel because why not join the family i want to hit 500 subscribers let's let's do it and other than that please do make sure that your notification bell is already on so you get notified every time i upload if you're going to buy this palette and you're like i'm an earring go get it whilst it's still in stock so yeah i will see you soon with another video